Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Today, I wanted to show you how I made this rainbow background using my watercolour pencils. Now, I have started by using some shimmery white cardstock. Now, I'm just going to move this around to see if you can get that shimmer. It is stunning. Now, the shimmer does show through the watercolour uh, the watercolor pencil as well. Now, this is a card I made for a group of customers I haven't seen in a while, and they're all scrapbookers, and I wanted to show them how we can get this great wash effect with our watercolour pencils. So, I have prepped this piece using the dot stamp from the Dragonfly Dreams stamp set and I have used my embossing buddy with my clear embossing powder to clear emboss that down the side so we eventually get an emboss resist effect down the side here so I'll just push all of this to the side including the stamp set pop this open here so our watercolor pencils come in a set of 13 including whisper white now when you get it you will receive the mini cardboard box now I have chosen to take one of our clear mount stamp cases and pop it in so if you wanted to do some watercoloring on the go you could have your set of pencils in there and you could either pop your two aqua painters which I'm going to show you in a second or you could put your aqua painter and a blender pen in there and you're all ready to go and all you have to do is pop in some stamped images and you can do some coloring on the go so I'm going to take these out and I'm going to choose some colors so on this card I haven't done exact rainbow background I have used daffodil delight I have used pumpkin pie I use some Calypso Coral, use Pacific, I might actually take out the Calypso Coral and use some real red, do some Pacific Point, some Melon Mambo and some Rich Razzleberry. So they're the colours I'm going to use. So I'll just pop these pencils to the side now I had some of the girls um, at the class now they theirs wasn't quite as bright and vibrant as mine and I've been able to take away all my um, all my pencil lines and we worked out at the end of class the more pigment or the more heavy color pencil you put down the easier so you can see I'm being quite hard there and I'm not going all the way to the edges so the more pigment I get down the more play I have when I get it wet now I'm not being neat I'm not overlapping because I'll be able to overlap it with our aqua painter when we get there and finally our rich razzleberry I like putting more of that because it's one of my favorite colors so I'm just going to pop them to the side now when you buy our aqua painter it's $20 for the set of two now there is a difference in the set of two the barrels are the same which you can fill with water you get two different colored tops now the difference is if I can get these off right there we go so we have a larger and a finer tip now for this technique it doesn't matter but if you're coloring in an image that is really fine 
the finer one will be your goat. I'm going to use the broader one because that's just going to make it a lot easier. Now at this point I'm also going to bring in a piece of paper towel. Now I just fold it into a square and I use it as blotting paper. But to make sure I don't have a whole lot of water in the aqua painter, I just like to rub it on the back of my hand. I don't know why I do that. Must be a sensory thing. But hey, that's the way I do it. So it's damp. I'm just going to see how I go. Starting from the top, just going to add this spread it into where our embossing is i'm just going to overlap it a tiny bit and because these colors work so well together i'm just going to keep going down now i'm starting to get a bit dry now so i'm actually going to pop off uh, just scribble off the color on there I'm just going to give the barrel a squeeze and just rub it on the back of my hand again and I can feel that's nice and moist again. But it's not dripping wet. So you can see I'm not being very particular. Now I am just going to give it a tiny blot there. So then I can get that really nice pink going. And going into not oh, going a bit dry again you can feel you lose the glide it doesn't quite glide so well and then sorry about my bracelet there banging on my desk okay now I am actually extremely happy with that now at this point, I'm just going to, you can see there's a fair bit of colour build up on the embossing here. So I am just going to wipe that off. Now I can see there are just some extra bits here. So I'm actually just going in and cleaning it up a bit using just the edge of my aqua painter. Now this um, real red has muddied a bit here, but I will fix that up. I'm going to bring in our heat tool and I'm just going to pop it on setting number one, which is actually in drying because I've used this whole piece as a card front. I don't want to warp it too much, but oh, that's level two, that's level one. So it's just not as much of, um, there's not as much blow in it, which means it's just going to dry slower. And if you feel it and it's still cold, it's wet. So you know it's dry when it feels nice and cool, and uh, nice and warm and not cool rather. Okay, now I can see the shape of the paper is also changing. So I'm just going to turn that off for a second. Just that's, that's feeling good. So once it's dry, we can go in and add a bit more colour. And that's what I want to do here over the real red. So you really can't tell it's there. Just bring this back in, dry it off, eh, just a touch more. There we go. Now I'm going to try really hard not to mix these. Now the other thing I could do, which I have done, I just want to get rid of those scribble lines. I'll show you how I've done it previously. I've taken a scratch piece of watercolour paper and when I've been doing a few of my other images I've used this and I've scribbled really quite liberally onto it and then I've wet this 
and picked up the colour. So you can see I've got a whole lot of colour there and then brought that directly to my project. So I'm much happier with that area now. So I am going to give it a wipe off and a buff. And that is how I have made my background on this card. Now, just to show you a few of the other things that I have used. I'm just almost everything's within arm's reach. So to make the dragonfly, I've used the two detailed dragonfly um, thinlets in the de um, so detailed dragonfly set. And I've done that in our Dazzling Details glimmer paper and in vellum and just layered them up. Now to make the word brave, in the other card that we did in class, we use the word wish, if I can pop my hand on that. So we use the word wish for that one. And the stamp set I use for that is our brushwork alphabet now this stamp set has a fantastic price point it's 45 dollars and you get lower lower and uppercase letters and i love how they connect together so i'll just bring back in that wish card here and they just connect together to create the most perfect cursive writing as if I'd done it myself but I do not have the best handwriting known to man and just to finish it off I have used our now I'm just trying to find the packet I have used I used our metallic shaped enamel shapes so they're these, they look like clear water drops, but they're actually silver. And when you buy the metallic pack, you get the gold. And let me find a mostly full pack here. And you get the silver. And you actually get three sheets of each. Now, I love these. You'll find I use them on a lot of my projects because I also have the coloured ones. And they just add the perfect finish to the card so you can see here one where I've used it and one where I haven't I probably will go in and add a few more um, add a few to this just to finish it off so I hope you have enjoyed me showing you how I used our watercolor pencils I've created quite a mess our watercolor pencils to create this beautiful color wash background now if you wanted to purchase any of the items I've used today you will find the details in the comments below I'll also have the details on my blog post which I will attach in the comments below I'll pop all the item numbers and the products that I've used so you can easily find them on my online store which is ellenwoodbridge.stampinup.net and please thumbs up my video if you enjoyed it so I can bring you some more and don't forget to subscribe so you can be told when my next video will be out and ready for you to watch thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again very soon